let us solve one get problem uh, on registered allocation. Here is the problem. Consider evaluating the following expression tree. So, this is our expression tree. Following expression tree on a machine with load and store architecture in which memory can be used in this expression tree can be evaluated by the machine only when operands are in the registers. That means, this expression tree can occupy computer's memory and the computer's computer architecture is load and store architecture and in this case the operands on which this operands uh, operations are to be carried out they are supposed to be kept in the registers okay with load store architecture in which memory can be used in this expression tree can be evaluated by the machine only when operands are in the registers the instruction produce result only in the registers that means the source data source operands will be in the registers after doing the computation the result thus produced will be also saved onto the registers if no intermediate results can be stored in the memory so whatever you are doing everything has to be kept in the registers not in the memory what is the minimum number of registers needed to evaluate this expression so here the number of registers are given and for that particular expression tree okay so, I have drawn the same expression tree here for the solution. So, let me go for the solution. Here it has been mentioned that what is the minimum number of registers required. That means, when, when I shall be writing the respective uh, codes here against this particular expression tree, I shall try to use minimum number of registers. That means, I can reuse my registers if one is getting free. Okay. So, if one is getting available or free then I can reuse that one. So, if you start from here it is nothing but R1 will be getting this A, R2 will be getting this B, then R1 I am keeping this as R1 minus R2. So, that means this result has been kept in R1. Here R2 has become free, so R2 can be reused. Okay. Now, here you see in R2 I am moving E, but I think I should do this one at first because it can be done later. So, in R2 I am moving C, in R3 I am moving D. I cannot reuse R1 because R1 is holding this particular difference. Okay. So, R2 is holding the C, R3 is holding D. So, here R2 is equal to R2 plus R3. So, the result thus produced has been kept in R2. So, R3 has become free now, I can reuse that one. So, let me put R3 as E, I am putting E A in R3, then I shall go for the subtraction, it is in R3. So, I shall do the subtraction. So, I am going for say R3 is equal to R3 minus R2. So, thus the result whatever has been produced has been kept in R3. So, now addition is only pending. So, I shall go for R1 is equal to R1 plus R3. So, this final result is now in R1. The final result is now in R1 and R2 and R3 they are containing that temporary or intermediate results. So, here how many distinct registers I had to use? And my answer is 3. So, as they are asking for the minimum number of registers needed, so I, I shall be going for the option number D that is 3. So, in this way the problem can be solved. I think you are getting this idea. So, please do this rough work and get the number of required number of minimum number of registers. Thanks for watching this video.